my PowerPoint displays today. I thought, I better do it all on flashcards. And I was even doing my notes and everything on flashcards. And I thought, I wonder what the room will be like. Will there be a whiteboard? So I even put, well, everything was on flashcards today. And that is the nice thing about flashcards to, to start off with, is that if you don't have technology, if it breaks down, you've always got this. And they can stay in folders. You can put them um, you know, into the little plastic inserts. I used to actually laminate them, but I found that they were more valuable if you just put them in a plastic insert. Because if you have it um, on both sides, you can't separate it if it's in a thing. So like I've, I started now using that a lot. Um, and also, I wasn't really quite sure. I am very keen on pronunciation. I'm sure some of you all know, um, mainly because of my own pronunciation. Uh, but I have got looked into it quite a lot. So I'm just wondering how many people in here, I don't mean to um, shame or anybody or say, well, you're not doing it. There are people I know that are doing lots of things on pronunciation, but there are many, many different ways of doing it. Uh, one way that I'm getting into quite a lot at the minute is phonics, because I was asked to write for Grupo SM Publishers, all the um, children, for the children's books. So that's been really great and, and very, we use loads of flashcards for that. But I have also used them for adults, okay? So just very quickly, I'll hold these up. <coughs> so there are three different ways that we teach pronunciation, and you're doing it, I know you are doing it. And one is the alphabet, okay? We're all using the alphabet obviously to read it and um, and so on but the alphabet really is only for is only good for writing and spelling it's not good for reading it's certainly not good for pronunciation and if you look at the vowel sounds alone we have five vowels it's the latin alphabet grand but any other language that comes in and uses the latin alphabet how do they pronounce a e i o and u and it's really hard especially the e and the i i don't know how do you say how do you say the e do, do you have the, do you have, vowel, what are your vowel sounds? Uh, we have, we have uh, seven uh, vowel sounds, yeah. but many more vowel kind of corresponding letters yeah. in Greek. So we have five different E's. There you go. Oh, great. So you're just <laughs> like us. <laughs> it, like the letter A has got about seven different sounds mm -hmm. alone. Okay, so then you have phonics. Now, it's, does anybody... You are actually using this in school. I know you are, whether you realize it or not, or when you're teaching. Because any time that you say, like, maybe a word like eight, E-I-G-H-T, you'll be saying, oh, it's, it's, it's pronounced exactly the word, like the word eight, as opposed to eat. So that's phonics. When you do that, you're, you're sounding out the, the letters. And phonics is used for reading, and it's used mostly with children. And back 100 years ago, I was actually taught it in Canada. They were well ahead. And uh, maybe because that's why I've gotten into it so much, because, oh, I, I know that. I know how to do this. But I didn't realize at the time. So, and I really, for a while there, I wasn't really uh, into anything. Phonics is my, my speciality, and I think this is the only thing that really works 100%, really and truly. And when I first saw it, I really didn't want to learn it. I thought, no, I'm a native speaker, I can listen, just say it, and they can listen, and they can repeat it. Fine. But it, as you know, it doesn't work. So, currently as well, I'm actually learning Russian. Because <laughs> I know, <laughs> like I've, I've done the Latin languages, so it's not 100%, but I, I can get work away my way around them. Um, and, but I had got the gift two and a half years ago of a little grandson, and I am just charmed out of my tree. And for the fact also that he is now a bilingual baby, Hello, thank you God for that wonderful gift, like a grandchild and bilingual. So I'm having great fun watching him now, and watching him form sounds with his mouth. I think that's what I'm doing, that's exactly what I'm teaching. And he is, he's just so amazing to watch. So I have brought you lots of little gifts today. Now I don't know how many of them you'll need, but I will bring, uh, show you some of them. So, and seeing that it's Christmas. <laughs> To get the interest going here. No, 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 no. Sell, sell, sell these. This, this is this, so. This is now um, phonics, or sorry, phonetics. And so, let's just say that we that we're just doing uh, flashcards. They're very good for teaching, but you can also summary summarize them as well. So this sound here. Does anybody know what this one is? Mm. Ah. 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 Okay. Okay. Somebody said a. Uh. Very good. That's this. Okay. If we took. This here, this, that's A, but when you have this set, when you have the diagonal lines beside it, that's telling it it's the sound. 
So this is the problem with the Latin alphabet in English. We have the letter A, A, B, C, D, but that's the name of the letter. It's not the actual sound. However, the letter A is a sound, is one sound for the letter A, but there are six others. Okay, so this is A. Now, if anybody knows, has seen me doing stuff before, then why I'm so nervous, I'm shaking, <laughs> I'm freezing cold, that's what it is, that's why I got my big scarf on today. I'm trying to be really quick. Peter said to me, have you got 57 slides today? I said, no, I'm not, don't, I don't have any slides, I've got flashcards. He said, you've got 57 flashcards. I said, he, he's right. <laughs> but I'm just prepared for all, all our problems, any questions. I'm well, always well prepared, you know. Okay, so... Um, the, when I was doing the phonetics, I, I devised a way of teaching it really, really easily. Instead of vowels first, and then diphthongs, and then consonants, which is so boring. I was boring myself when I was teaching it. Like, how can I do this to people, you know? Uh, so I tried to devise a way that they could build up the sounds and make it just a little bit more meaningful. And the first one I did was I, E-Y-E. -E. <clears throat> now, that was ground for phonetics. But the phonics people <laughs> said, that's not very child-friendly, it's not very user-friendly. That is, the, the word E-Y-E -E is a tricky word. So they're all into tricky words, the phonics people. So I thought, okay then. Another problem we have in, uh, with language learners is that a lot of them uh, don't use the, art the articles. So it's, and I know myself with Russian families now, trying try to get them to say the ah word first. So I thought, okay, let's, throw everything out and start again and make phonetics run alongside with phonics. And I've actually done it. My life is that sad. This is what I do <laughs> with my weekends, free time. It's all on this. But anyway, somebody's got to do it. Okay, so now we start with the letter, the sound A, ah, and it's the word A ah, as well. Okay? Now, just in case, is it, does anybody uh, teach phonics to young children? Do any of you have wee children at home that are coming home? My daughter's not three. There you go. So. All right. So she will be exactly the same sound, but in phonics they do that one. Right. But it's the same word and the same um, international symbol. Okay? Same <clears throat> phonetic symbol. So that's the only difference. And I also think, too, it's a font thing. And to teach wee children, it's much easier to teach them that, you know, to write yeah. that than that. So that's the only difference. Okay? So... The next sound is this one. Mm. Mm. Okay. And if we, now the thing is, instead of te teaching it in isolation, I added to the sound before. Ah, uh, mm, makes an. Another little article that's often left out by some English language learners. The next sound. I'm really fast here, but it's easy. It's not so bad. D. Okay. And lo and behold, if we add that to ah and mm, we get the word. Uh, Yay! Another really good handy word to know in, in English. Is that there? Is that on the list? There? <laughs> and then, next sound. And if we add that now to a uh, and in, in, we get and. Okay? So this is what I'm trying to do. And also, and adding the word and, and as well. I can remember being taught that way back in Celta, you know, very early on. But I've also used color coding as well, because sometimes when you look at the phonetic symbols in the dictionary, you think, okay, which one goes with which letter? So I came up with that little device, and it's working fine. Right. <laughs> this sound here is I, okay? Phonics will have this one, we use the letter. So it's, if you add that to a sound before, mm, you get the word in. I'm just going to do a couple more here, just to let you see where it's going. This sound, you're brilliant. Add that too. In, we get bin, woo! -hoo. And what are we going to have for the next word? Yay! Woohoo! So that's the first unit of the new course, da 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 da, for for phonetics and phonics. Now, what you can then do to help your students uh, learn them, I'll get through this quickly because we don't have time, you know, for, for everything, but 
Have you ever played the game Memory or Fish? No? Oh, okay, so I did this one time in a class of Chinese students. The only girl who was so quiet the whole time, what you do is you put the flashcards face down on a table, and then you turn one over then another one trying to find the match. So you're trying to find, I just maybe number them, and then you turn them over, and then you have to go keep turning them until you find the match for that, which would be E, okay? So that is a great way to do it. Now you can do it on the floor, you can do it on tables, or you can line them up on the board and get the people then to get the students to call out a number and turn it over until they're all turned over. Okay, that's one. Um, then when you do that, it really, really starts getting it into their heads. They start learning it. It, it starts cementing it in. And then you can do things like introduce new words that you haven't taught them yet. And a good way of doing this as well is dividing the, the class into two. So if we go, there's one half, there's the other half. You could be phonics, you could be phonetics team. So then, because if you actually put them into teams as well, um, it makes it more competitive. What's this word? Okay. This team gets the point because they said it first. <laughs> okay, now we're paying attention. What about this word? Add. Uh, Whoa. Okay. Let's hear that again. Add. 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 It, this, sorry, this team gets the point. It's the. Ah, sorry. There you go. Good. Good. You see how that works? As soon as she saw the phonetics, which is upside down, she got it. <laughs> Which team are you on? Which team are you on? Come on, guys. This is our team. You're definitely winning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Further down the line, we've got Batman. I've got a really cool little illustration for him. So the, uh, oh, did you see that? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you would do it, you know, very discreetly without being in a hurry. But you get the idea. So it can cause um, a lot of interest in the class, and when you start introducing a bit of competition, everybody gets in and in a little faster. Okay, how are we going for time? One minute. I've still got 50 flashcards to go. <laughs> Okay, do you know this game? Whiteboard pen? Oh, sorry, unless I got one. No, oh, great. Okay, so out of the sounds that we've done so far, Somebody call me a sound, not a letter. Uh, yeah. ah. Very good. <laughs> Come on, quick, quick. Chit. If anybody was walking past this, room, like, what on your god is going on in there? <laughs> Come on, we're getting close. We've only got how many seconds left? Oh, did you say? Yeah. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> All right, so there's a, <laughs> there's a lot that you can do with with uh, with um, <laughs> games like that. 
And even though, all right, we all played them as kids, but by golly, you're all getting in there really quick. Mm -hmm.